Hi lovelies! I decided I would use the Wild Unknown for this two minute tarot video um, just to mix things up a bit and because I'm in the process of really getting more comfortable with the Wild Unknown I haven't had that much time to really get to grips with it since I bought it so I'm kind of gradually gradually spending a bit of time with it and developing my relationship with it. So um, I drew the Seven of Wands um, now this card is interesting because it's slightly, I feel like it's slightly different to uh, the Rider Waite um, Seven of Wands. It's also very different to the Shadowscapes Seven of Wands, which was the deck that I actually learned tarot with. Um, so this, this Seven of Wands makes me think of fortitude and um, presence and maybe even sort of strength of will or personal power and um, there's this very bright central light this central wand um, that is a flame and it is through sheer force of, of will or power or light or heat or energy sort of bending the wands in the foreground to either side and away from it. Um, in the right of weight we see a figure who's sort of holding back um, sort of this sea of other wands that are kind of coming up at him and he looks a bit out of control, he looks a bit stressed out um, and I often think of that as being um, maybe a telltale of somebody who is getting overly stressed, overly worried about things, they're letting things get under their skin, they're letting, letting things kind of get on top of them a bit. Um, but this card speaks much more strongly about the positive um, aspects of that image. Um, it sort of dems, gives a feeling of um, of control rather than lack of control and like I said of fortitude. Um, so this card would kind of maybe remind you to find your core and to find your personal power if you're in a situation where you feel like you're coming up against a lot of issues, a lot of um, stumbling blocks in your life. Um, this card for me would remind you that you have the answers and the strength and the power within um, and all you have to do is unlock that um, and really sit with that and allow that to shine through. Um, so yeah, I like this card a lot actually and I like the different angle that it's giving me on the Seven of Wands because if anything, um, the Shadowscapes went even more in the direction of it being about kind of conflict and something difficult and some being very defensive. Whereas here we see somebody, well somebody, we see an energy um, not of defence but of offence, of um, projection, uh, which I like a lot.